So before we talk about the chicken, but let's talk about the breading of the chicken. So I have a little container where I'm going to crack an egg. This is for four to six pieces of chicken for my chicken parm that I'm gonna do. All right, so now I have my egg right here and I'm gonna whisk it away. After I beat this egg, I'm gonna put a little bit of milk, just a little bit of milk, maybe half a quarter cup or two tablespoons of milk. Seasoning is all about layers. So now that my egg is like that, I'm gonna add some salt. Just like if I was doing every part of my breading, I need to really put seasoning. Just a little bit of half a teaspoon of the Italian seasoning. And here you go. So that's my egg wash. All right. Now in another plate, the other part of my breading, I'm gonna use breadcrumbs and panko. I wanna use a mixture. Now panko breadcrumbs are those Asian bread flakes. They are a lot more bigger than regular breadcrumbs. That gives that ultimate crispy feeling to everything you pan fry or deep fry. So I like to use one cup of panko to half of the breadcrumbs. So it's not all panko, it's not all bread either. Two half and one about there okay so now i'm gonna mix this really well again what do i need next a little bit of salt a little bit of the seasoning italian seasoning we're gonna mix it again and that part is ready and my third one is the flour because we're gonna have a triple it's a triple breading process to get that crispy delicious chicken all right so again, one cup of flour at the most. You can even go for half a cup if you want to, or three quarters of a cup. If you need more, you can add more, it's not a big deal. All right, I'm gonna add my salt, just a little bit of salt. I'm gonna add, not this, I'm gonna add my Italian seasoning to it because I'm gonna dip the chicken in all three, so I need the chicken to pick up a little bit and a little bit on each one. All right, so this is ready. I'm moving to the side, let's go for the chicken. All right, so let's talk about the chicken. This is just regular chicken breasts that come pre-frozen in a bag. You can have the regular and then you can slice them thin if you want to or kind of the same level of thickness. To me, these are fine. They're not too thin, they're not too thick. They're the perfect size for all of us to have one or two. So I'm gonna make five of these chicken breasts. All right, so they're right here. Let me wash my hands. Another very important item that I need while I am going to bread my chicken is one of these trays, one of those cookie racks. This one um, is needed because you're gonna have to let the chicken rest. Once you bread it on the three breading that we're gonna do, the three step breading, you're gonna have to let it rest so the crust and everything kind of gets together. If you fry them really quickly, the crust might come off. But if not, you can just let it rest here while you prepare your marinara or your spaghetti sauce for the, or while you boil your noodles. This is the first thing you do, then you let them rest. All right, so where do you think it's go first? Well, get your chicken. I don't need to salt the chicken just because everything is salted already. Everything has the seasoning. So I don't need to put anything on my chicken. If you want to, you can add salt. That's up to you, but I don't need to do that. All right, so first goes in the flour. So I'm gonna, remember, I just like to keep one hand really dirty, the other one, never touches anything really. All right, so first in the flour, then in the egg, then in my panko mixture, I'm gonna help him out just a little bit. Yeah, help him out, press him a little bit. Yeah, and then I shake it and I'm putting it here to rest on my tray. I'm gonna continue to do all of them like the same way. Since you usually don't have all day to be making your Italian gravy or tomato sauce, who has all that time? When I don't have time, I have this very quick recipe for my spaghetti sauce. It is super simple, super easy. It's gonna taste like it cooked for hours. And there's a couple of secrets. All right, so olive oil. Pretend this is heated, okay? Olive oil, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil on the bottom of your pan. Yeah, a little more than that. All right, so that you, there you're gonna add. If you wanna put chopped onions, you can, and garlic. You can do that. My husband does not like garlic, uh, not garlic, onions. So I have to kind of forego that, but that's okay because I have a secret weapon that has all those spices that I need. In there, you're gonna put one can of diced Italian tomatoes. 
that's gonna give it that texture of your sauce that you need. And with the same amount, one can of tomato sauce. All right, so there already it's gonna look like a chunky, delicious, cooked all day, Tuscan style, you know, sauce. All right, so now the other secret is once you put those two together, my favorite Prego sauce. So all you're gonna do is measure. I measure the half a can. I don't wanna put the whole can, just half a can of the Prego, and that is gonna be enough to give the sauce that texture and that flavor that is going to feel like this. I'm gonna move it all together, you know, mix it all well, and put it in the in the stove. That's gonna give it this, your favorite uh, sauce you already comes pre-made. It's gonna give it that flavor that it cooked forever and, gonna, and the other two cans are gonna take away that store-bought, you know, sauce. To this, what I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning, maybe like a big tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I'm gonna put some salt. I'm gonna put a pinch of sugar also. If I have wine, I have a cup of wine, and then I let it cook for about 20 minutes, and I promise you, it's gonna be ready. Once it starts boiling, don't forget to taste the salt. I also like to add a pinch of sugar just to balance it off. While the chicken is resting and my sauce is cooking, I'm grating some good Parmesan cheese. Now I've grated about a cup and a half, and I have one of these, um, what are they called? Silk mats for my cookies. And I like to get just a tray that is upside down so that this will fit pretty flat. I'm just gonna put it upside down in the oven. You're gonna preheat your oven at 400 degrees. So what I'm gonna put to this is, if you have fresh herbs, use fresh herbs. I don't have fresh herbs today, so I'm just gonna put like a little tablespoon in my hand of my infamous Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna put some in it. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it well. All right, so you're gonna grab a little bit and you're gonna put it in your tray and you're just gonna put it, sit it right there like a little mountain. In Italy, we learned that adding Parmesan to the chicken batter may increase the chances of burning the chicken. This Parmesan crisp on top is the best trick. And, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 400 degrees until they're all gonna expand a little bit and they're gonna get crispy. And I'm gonna top my Parmesan cheese, Parmesan chicken with this. So you see me here? Now I have something that I can put my phone in. Okay, all right. So let me show you here. In my pan, I'm ready to fry my chicken. It's been drying out like I showed you before, right? So I'm gonna put a mixture of regular um, olive oil first. And then I'm gonna put some regular regular oil because you know oil olive oil burns really fast so in that because it's really hot already i am going to start frying my chicken Since we all multitask in the kitchen, I'm gonna put my Parmesan tools inside my oven that just preheated at 400 degrees. Cook the chicken about three minutes on one side and five on the other on medium heat so they don't burn. Put them in the oven at the same 400 degrees. The Parmesan crisp will stay in the oven for about 10 minutes until you see they're golden crispy. Take them out, take them out of your silicone pad and put them aside. Once your chicken is out of the oven, top it with a good amount of mozzarella cheese and put back to melt. Okay guys, so everything is ready. So how do we put this together? I have my delicious cooked noodles right there with the butter and the garlic and some of the parsley. Now I want you to take a look. Let me take my peak, mm, my pick, my peak, my pick. Mm. Now you see that beautiful piece of chicken right there I'm gonna put. Now I'm going to add some of that delicious sauce, yeah, that it is so ready on top of it with some of those tomatoes and some of that gorgeous sauce. Look at that. And now, where's my little star of the day? Remember? Yeah. So now I'm going to top it with my delicious Parmesan tuli. I'm going to also put some actual Parmesan cheese on top, some real basil. It is so delicious. 
Your whole family is going to love this. It's going to be like you are sitting in the somewhere, somewhere in a balcony in Italy having a feast. Enjoy from my kitchen to yours. <laughs>